Steelers Morning Freak Show. Well, here we go. Plans have changed. Steelers play at Buffalo this afternoon because of the snow and blizzard and conditions that they had over the weekend in Buffalo. Good morning. It is Mikey. It is Bob, the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show here on MLK Day. Yes, we are working today getting you ready Steelers. for Steelers Bills. I thought we were going to be recapping Steelers Bills and reading Facebook comments, which, by the way, we'll still read Facebook comments today about the game being moved because <laughs> let me tell you, anybody over the age of 50 uh -huh. was like, no, I used to play that game back in the day. <laughs> oh, sure. Uh, let's start here with checking the pulse of Steeler Nate. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. Here we, here we go. We got the best fans around. Here we go. Rudolph. What? Here we go. What? Rudolph taking us to the Super Bowl. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Here, well, okay. here we go. Pittsburgh going to the Super Bowl. Here we go. Facebook comments about the game being moved. Oh, no. We'll do those around 7, 10, and 9, 10. Good morning. It's Mikey and Bob, the Kiss Morning Freak Show. And we got the best fans around. Here we go. 96 1. Yes. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. You can send us messages through the free iHeartRadio app when you're streaming the station or our Mikey and Bob podcast. Just hit that talk back microphone. Bob, we do have some listeners that have had dreams about us before, right? And we like to hear about that on the show because it's weird and awesome that you listen so much. You dream about us. So let's get to this message. All right, Mikey and Bob, I have joined the yep. Dream Club, which I thought everyone that had dreams about you was weird. So now <laughs> I'm super weird. Uh, but the dream was, yep. Mikey, you got your special glasses that you've been waiting for for the yeah. eye thing that you have going on. Yeah, I have a, uh, a condition called BVD. I actually get my new glasses this Saturday. So it's new glasses week week for me very excited Big week very Big week. excited about that but then you and bob got in a fight once you got your new glasses okay fighting oh, that man. never happened never happened won't happen me and this guy we just we don't fight so then you had competing radio shows oh that's oh, just come wow. on now this is just nonsense come on over glasses. Radio shows. And I was on a mission running through the iHeart studios <laughs> trying to get you guys to reunite. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, at least she was putting in the effort trying to bring us back together after we broke up. I, did we break up because I was wearing glasses now? And you're like, I can't. I can't, I can't even. Guy. I can't even look at you with those things on. I'm out of here. <laughs> going to do my own show across the hall. <laughs> you still work for iHeart. Radio, right? I love that she's re trying to reunite us in yeah. the building. She gets in the building. She sneaks come, in. Come together. She puts in an application. She's working like sales or promotions <laughs> or something, and she's like, "There's she something. Needs you. There's something in the other studio for you." <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what? Come over here. It's just me. Just like it's gonna be Mikey, right? It's just gonna be Mikey. <laughs> Does he have those glasses on? I'm not going. <laughs> if I see him with those glasses on, I'm gonna punch him in the face and break his glasses. <laughs> Uh, we appreciate any time you dream about us, whether it's good or bad, we'd like to hear about it. All right, all about them Steelers finally taking on the Bills, uh, happening later this afternoon. But we have to read some Steelers Facebook comments about the game being moved oh, to yeah. this afternoon. We'll get to the first round of those around 710. It's Mikey and Bob. Pay your bills on 961 Kiss. Hello. Taylor Swift, of course, was at the freezing cold Chiefs game over the weekend as the Chiefs beat the Dolphins to advance 26 to 7 on Super Wild Card Weekend. It is Mikey, it is Bob, the 96 1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, by the way, to everybody who complained about that game being on Peacock and having to sign up for Peacock or a free trial of Peacock and then cancel it mm -hmm. just so you can watch an NFL playoff game, uh, that is not going away. Actually, that is going to become the norm. 
I don't think we're that far away from having to pay for every NFL game. Uh, I mean, they pretty much proved it just it works. Uh, they had an audience of about 23 million. Uh, NBC Universal said it was li- just <laughs> hold on. Just <laughs> listen to what I'm about to say. NBC Universal said it was the biggest live stream event in U.S. history. Uh, yeah. This isn't going away. No. you, you got to figure it out. Because if you're one of these people that was against this, I totally understand that. I don't want to sign up for any of these services either. There is no point in fighting this anymore. It is the toothpaste is out of the tube mm-hmm. with them putting games. Behind. This is going to be so normal in a few years. They're going to start putting more playoff games. They're going to put regular season games behind. Because these companies... These traditional broadcast companies, your CBS, your NBC, your ABCs, right? Do you do you think they see the future in broadcast TV as how they're going to reach people? No, they want those subscribers numbers up. So, and listen, we're not that far away. It is going to happen at some point. They're going to put a Super Bowl behind a paywall. I, it's not going to be like in the next couple years. They just proved it works. But that is coming. Yeah, 23 million people. Uh, N- NBC said it was the biggest live stream event in U.S. history. And again, well, what, isn't a Super Bowl bigger? Yeah, but more people are watching Super Bowl like a traditional way. So as far as like streaming, 23 million, they're saying biggest live streamed event in like U.S. A, history. Of course, people complained and I'm not doing it. Blah, blah, blah. 23 million other people did it. Everybody figured it out. Yeah. Everybody figured yeah. it out. Also, the game drove Internet usage. To a single day U.S. record. It's wild. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, it's wild. Wait, what? Yeah. We've never used the internet as much as much in a day as we did to watch a football game this weekend. Yeah. Uh, NBC uh, and all the other NFL partners and the NFL are just laughing they, because they figured this out. It's going to work. It took. It, it, it was a little risky putting a. Playoff game behind a paywall. Didn't hurt that it was a good matchup, Kansas City versus Miami. Didn't hurt that uh, Taylor Swift was up in the suite, swag surfing with Donna Kelsey. <laughs> Didn't and hurt. Andy Reid, the, the Chiefs coach, his frozen mustache. Yeah, what was up with that frozen mustache? Has your mustache ever gotten frozen no, like that? No, no, never. That what was... would you do if you got a frosty mustache like that? Do you comb it out? Do you, like, hit it with a hair dryer and, like, yeah, melt it? I think the proper way is to frost it. De- defrosting? Can you break your stash off if you treat I, it I, wrong with a frozen stash? I don't know. Yeah. I, feel like, I feel like if Andy Reid would have combed that stash, his whole mustache would have combed off. I don't know, man. I don't know how mustaches work. Loses all his superpowers. Uh, Roger Goodell said we couldn't be prouder of our partnership with Peacock. Thrilled with the results of the first ever exclusive live streamed NFL playoff game. To best serve our fans, we need to ensure games are available to them as their viewing Uh, habits uh, change. Roger Goodell just going, ha, ha, ha. And this includes digital distribution as we continue to help shape the future of sports and entertainment. And then uh, also coming out this weekend, the NFL is in talks with ESPN for an equity stake in ESPN. And ESPN could gain control of all NFL media, including NFL Network and NFL Red Zone. That's not a good thing. Because the stories and the journalism of bad things happening in the NFL won't be shown on ESPN once they are such a, a bigger league partner than they are now. It's an interesting weekend of football, though. Huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The Browns are out of it. They lost to the Texans 45 to 14. By the way, I thought we were going to have some Cleveland Browns Facebook comments maybe to uh, you know fill the gap now that the Steeler game moved to today. Browns fans are pretty happy with how their season went. And that they just revived a Joe Flacco off the couch, had a couple of games of magic. I think sort of like Steeler fans will feel like if we lose. Thanks a lot, Mason Rudolph. You gave us a little run. You gave us a playoff game. Not that bad, right? You think that's how Steeler fans are going to feel? No, no. Uh, Everybody will be fired if the Steelers (laughs) lose today. And we'll read Facebook comments on the show tomorrow morning. We got to get to some Facebook comments, though, about the... uh, the Steelers Bills game being moved. We'll get to that around 7 10. It's Mikey and Bob, the Kiss Morning Freak Show. 96 1 Kiss. The Mikey and Bob Podcast. Steelers. Okay? I'm okay. Yeah, good to go. Uh, Steelers, of course, go to. No, I'm not. No, I'm not okay. Stream the Mikey and Bob Podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. 
Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. It is going to be absolutely cold this week. Highs near 20 degrees today. We might see an occasional snow uh, coming through the area this evening. Nothing major, though. Nothing like what they've got and are getting up in Buffalo. Highs are going to be in the 20s all week. Like, I just looked at the week forecast. We do not have a high in the 30s mm. until Monday. It's not today, a Ooh. week from today. Oh. So we have a week of 20 degrees for the uh, high. All right, you can send us messages through our free iHeartRadio app when you're streaming our Mikey and Bob podcast or 961 Kiss. Bob, we were talking last week on the show. Somebody sent us a message about, you know, one of the worst birthdays that they've ever had. Me and you both said we usually have pretty good birthdays. You're a New Year's baby, so New Year's Eve is always your mm-hmm. birthday. Yep. Uh, I'm September 3rd, so like Labor Day weekend is usually my birthday. But let's hear this. Hi, Mikey and Bob, just listening to the podcast about worst birthday stories. Yeah. So when I was in middle school, you know, I was having a pretty good birthday. My birthday's in the summer. We went and got Chinese food. We got home and my parents were like, you know what, let's go to the wave pool. All right, I'm going to throw the flag right there. Chinese food, then to the wave pool? Yeah. This doesn't be the best seem mix. like a good combo. So we get there. We're there maybe 10 minutes. Uh-oh. Then all the sirens start going off, but it's not for the wave. Oh, the sirens are going off, but it's not for Uh-oh. the waves. Oh, no. Bad birthday's about to happen. Happen. It's to evacuate the pool because some old guy pooped himself oh, and they no. had to drain oh. the entire wave pool. Oh, no. So that ruined my birthday. You know what, though? It, it, I thought it was going to be you, to be honest. Yeah, you set me up <laughs> with the shy. I thought it was going to be bad Chinese food. <laughs> I was, the the buildup of Chinese food wave pool, I'm just like, oh, they, they definitely pooped in the wave pool. No, just some old guy. Some old guy pooped. Maybe he had Chinese food before the wave pool, too, but. Yeah, that's a bad birthday, but it could have been worse, though. It could have been you. True. You could have been the old guy that shut down the uh, the wave pool. All right, listen, before the snow came, who was talking all this, why aren't they playing the game? And then they talked to him after the snow fell, <laughs> and his whole demeanor changed. We'll get to that around 7.30 here on the Kiss Morning Free Show. But our first round of Steelers, Bills, having to move the game to this afternoon. Facebook comments is coming up around 7.10. It's Mikey and Bob. 96.1 Kiss. It is Mikey. It is Bob. The 96.1 Kiss Morning Free Show. The Penguins game is this afternoon. Just weird, man. Having a Monday Penguins game start at 1 p.m. Uh, originally scheduled for this evening, but the Penguins moved up their game at home against the Seattle Kraken because of uh, the Steeler game. So the Penguins are like, we do not want to go toe-to-toe with the Steeler game and try to fill this arena. So they're hoping uh, just some of you maniacs we'll uh, are just... The day off, possibly, yeah, I guess. Yeah, day off and just make a whole day out of it. Go see the Pens at this afternoon, and then after the game, you know, go home and watch a Steeler game. But the Pens game will start at 1 p.m. today. You can start entering the arena at 11.30. It's all it's all just weird. But And I think the NFL moving this, this Steeler-Bills game, it works out perfectly for them because so many people don't have to work today because it's MLK Day today. All right, it is right around 7 o'clock. It is time for us to take you back to a moment in the show that made us laugh, made us smile. It is time for today in Freak Show history. Here we go. Today. Now, listen, I know we've played this before on the show, and we play it a lot on the show because it makes us smile so much. Uh, I need to hear Steelers Renegade by Doug. (laughs) <laughs> I, the, the, Bye, Doug. this was years ago this guy named doug sent us his own version of sticks renegade and we have not stopped smiling about it since it's the steelers renegade you know it's about to I mean, be serious drop it, drop it you now. know it's about to be real when you hear this it's the steelers renegade okay here we go oh mama flack goes in fear for his life from the long arm of the steelers oh my god <laughs> Cam Hayward's put an end to his throwing, and he's so far from Baltimore. This next line is my favorite line of the whole Steelers Renegade song, okay? Again, this is a fan-made song by Doug Allier. Oh, Brady, I can hear you crying. You're so scared of a Dupree. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Time on. <laughs> Time out. Play it again. Hold on. Play Hold it. on. This is the greatest line of the whole song. 
because his voice cracks in the middle. Maybe because he's not so sure that Tom Brady is actually afraid of Bud freaking Dupree. Oh, Brady, I can't hear you crying. You're so scared of Bud Dupree. Tom Brady is not scared of Bud Dupree. No, no, no. Steelers defense coming down from Highsville and you don't have very long. All right, now this is usually the point in Renegade oh, where, 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 where it's the yell, right? The yell! Yeah! Okay, this is the Steelers uh, Renegade fan song by Doug L. Here we go. Can you handle the yell? The cheek is up, the team is out, they're out on the loose now. The steel curtain has returned to cheap on it found. No way the man will trade. It's for Scottish Wednesday for number seven. For number seven. Wow. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96 1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Of course, the Steelers Bills Super Wild Card Weekend game was moved to uh, Monday today, this afternoon, because of the snow. Orchard Park, where the Bills play, was hit with 17 inches of snow. When the game was supposed to start Sunday at 1 p.m., uh, cameras at Highmark Stadium in Buffalo showed whiteout snow, swirling wind. It was almost impossible to see where the field even was. Yeah. Uh, most of Erie County's travel ban up there was lifted. Uh, earlier this morning, the governor and Roger Goodell said the game will not be pushed back again. It's not going to be great weather. The temperature for Monday today at 4 p.m. is 17 degrees. Wind gusts up to 30 miles an hour and a wind chill of minus two. So it's not great condition. Still sounds awful. It, it, it does still sound awful, but the, uh, the public safety is a little bit better because they have had time to clear the roads and clear all the snow that they got over the weekend. And then we read the Facebook comments. Oh, no, here we go. We are going uh -oh. to a very deep, dark place on the internet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everyone is a GM. Yeah. Everyone is a coach. Yeah. Everyone is going to... To get traded. Everything, Everything sucks. sucks. It's time for Steelers Facebook comments. These are Steelers Facebook comments after their playoff game in Buffalo simply gets moved because of the public safety in just getting people to the game. Barry A. Back when football was football, they would have played this game. Oh, yeah. There we go. Barry. It's such a Barry comment. I'm just about to read 10 more Barrys here if you want to know how this is going to go. Holly D. Snow never stopped the Steelers in the 70s and 80s. Some of the best games ever played. Yeah, it's cool. Okay, yeah. Like, yeah, we used to smoke in airplanes, uh, too, back in the 70s and 80s. They definitely sometimes, played in the 80s on a field full of two feet of snow. Sometimes things change, Holly. <laughs> Our wins. And also, no. Connie H. Steelers always played in this kind of snow. No. <laughs> no. They don't. Missy they don't. G. Will it be on TV? And no, Missy. They're not going to put an NFL playoff nope. game on TV. No, it's, not it's, this time, Missy. Oh, my God. You should have your Facebook account taken away. You should not be able to co comment publicly if you ask, is it going to be on TV? How's this work? Oh, my God. Her is vote counts as TV? much as us when we vote. Oh, God. Am I going to be on TV? Is it on TV? Going to be on TV? Yes. It, every NFL playoff game until the end of time will be on TV. They're not going to be like, yeah, you know what? No. Kelly, why? What pansies? Snow games are the best games. Yeah, okay, this is this would have been a little bit more than a snow game and also it's not like backyard football with your uncle and cousin. It's about yeah. it's about public safety too. Yeah. This was not about can the players play in it, right? It's about getting tens of thousands of people to the game. Steelers Facebook comments after they have to move their playoff game um a couple days just because of the treacherous snow conditions. Laura B here. Not everyone has MLK day off from work. 
you want everybody to be safe, but this could have been a more reasonable reschedule. Okay, I don't think this could have worked out any better for the NFL. Most people are off for MLK Day. Not everybody has Sunday off work either. Oh, my God. Like, no, no, no. Hold like, on. What? The governor, Roger Goodell, huh? work this playoff game that tens of millions of people will watch work it around laura's work schedule she's got to work on mlk day she's off on a thursday coming up in two weeks play it then for can laura we, can we fit it in ray p congrats on rigging the game so it favors the home team that's true too the nfl is rigging yeah, this so yeah, the bills win we know rigged. that yep uh sue w wow they get paid millions and can't play in the snow. Oh, my God, Boomer. Sue, don't do this. Hey, you give Sue millions, she'll line up in the backfield. <laughs> Seriously, Sue. <laughs> Sue up the middle for 10 yards. <laughs> Let's do the tush push with you, Sue, huh? Sue the baby bus. Put her out there. <laughs> Sue is just the big lady with all the snacks in the office. <laughs> They call her baby bus. You're right. The announcer just like, the Steelers signed Sue this week. It's a Sue W. Straight out of the Facebook comments. Just out here punishing people today. (laughs) Also, not about the players. Why they, the players didn't come together and just go too cold to play. Public safety. I know this is very hard for boomers on Facebook that Sue lived in the take, 70s and 80s and used to eat yellow snow. Sue and, doesn't take water breaks, though. She uses a snack drawer on the sidelines. She's fueled by Reese's. <laughs> Sue's all fired up. And out in Reese's. We'll end here this round of Facebook comments. Robert G. Coach Bill Cower would have never let this happen. <laughs> Mikey and Bob podcast. It is weird that we've progressed as a show to where me and Bob just go, ah. Everybody knows we're, we're, we're saying Steelers, right? Ah. It's weird. Why do we do that? Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. Olivia Rodrigo, get him back. It's Mikey and Bob, the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. It is really cold out there this morning. Highs today, just near 20 degrees. Occasional snow coming this evening. Nothing major, though. It's going to be highs in the 20s all week. We won't hit a high of 30 degrees till probably Monday, like a week from today. (laughs) We're a week away from 30 degrees. Uh, We need to talk about what happened on WTAE because good job, Emily Jean Greco, man. They sent Emily Jean Greco to Buffalo. She was in all of the weather reporting on the conditions, Mm -hmm. but at one point, before the snow was really coming, when it was just flurries and windy, uh, she was outside of the stadium there in Buffalo, and some Steeler fans were also in the parking lot. I believe this is when we're going to meet Tony Vasquez, right? Yeah. Okay, Emily Jean Greco. With the report, Steelers fans were coming to Buffalo snow or shine to watch their team play in wild card weekend. Yep. But what were their thoughts when they heard the game was moved? I think it's wrong. Yep. Play the game. I mean, these are two, you know, cold weather teams. We've done it before. We're in Buffalo. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the surface of the moon. Who cares? Let's play. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> the surface of the moon. Or the surface of the moon. Who cares? Let's play. Now, I know there are a lot of you who are just like, Finally, they put that guy on the news. He's saying exactly what I think. Right. Play the game. We're two cold weather teams. Play the game. Not thinking of, hey, public safety. Because then, and again, Mm -hmm. Emily Jean Greco, incredible job here because I think she got the guy's info. Yeah. Because when the snow started coming down, you could tell the guy was in a hotel room. And the follow up of, like, how are you feeling about it now, sir? Again, this is a Steeler fan who traveled to Buffalo. Who was saying, play the game. Let's go. Let's play it today, tomorrow on the surface of the moon. But then Emily Jean Greco with the follow up (laughs) as he's sitting in his hotel as the snow's coming down. Then the weather really started hitting. At the beginning, you know, it was clear. Not really much snow has fallen. Then later on in the day, I think maybe after like three or four in the afternoon, it started coming down. It was like something out of a movie where we didn't know which we were going. And the perspective changed. She would have even been able to get to the game. 
It probably would have been next to impossible. Okay, so listen, <laughs> I, I, I get it. I get that there were some of Let's you. Play! There were a lot of you in the Facebook comments on the Steelers page, too, that are just like, <laughs> play the damn game. Because that guy also, he was in the parking lot. He was lot. ready to go. He yeah. was in the parking lot. And he was just like, play the damn game. And then the weather hit, and he's like, I didn't even know what direction I was driving. Yeah. <laughs> it would be impossible no to clue. play this game. So maybe hearing that guy changes some perspective of some fans around here who are just like, play the damn game. I love the follow-up. <laughs> so the I love follow the follow-up. Follow you know what? Great job, Emily John Greco there on WTAE <laughs> for getting the follow-up. So, of course, we got, hey, we got a random Monday afternoon of just – Pittsburgh sports. Penguins, of course, moved their game up to 1 p.m. this afternoon against Seattle. And then uh, the big playoff game, it is Steelers up in Buffalo taking on the Bills around 4.30. It's the Kiss Morning Freak Show. Mike, you up. It's Mikey, it's Bob, the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. High's just going to be in the 20s all week. It is going to be cold out there, Pittsburgh. Let's check in with one of our cold listeners that's up listening to us on this MLK Day. Be a grown-up, they said. Get a job, they said. It'll be fun, they said. That's no, not. Why the hell am I driving into work when it's 9 degrees outside, freezing my damn nuts off? Yeah, wow. Well, Stay warm, boys. Yeah, well, yeah money, yeah. money. That's yeah. why we all have to do this, because we have to support ourselves and our family. Family. It's money. It's money. It's That's what it is. That's why we're all awake right now. It's money. Uh, let's get the crazy Italian guy. Nate, the crazy Italian guy, has been a friend of ours, a part of the show for a few years now. I want to take everybody back to week one. This was Nate, the crazy Italian guy, getting us hyped for week one of the NFL season, right? Steelers lost to the 49ers at home to open up the season. But here was crazy Italian guy, week one. Outside of Acrisure Stadium. Crazy Italian guys, one of the home of the Steelers. When we're finally opening the season, we're going to step over the San Fran's two lines on our stairway to seven. Because this is our year, Pittsburgh. We're going to fly now. No fair weather this. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Steelers. Yeah. All right. So that was week one, right? Uh -huh. And then the Steelers, you know, up and down year injuries somehow. Mason Rudolph, the running game, get hot. Let us in. Sneak into Maybe the playoffs. In. Go to Buffalo. Hopefully they can pull it off. Now, here is crazy Italian guy over the weekend returning to outside of Acrisure Stadium to get everybody ready for today's Steelers-Bills wild card game. Crazy Italian guy back in front of Acrisure Stadium. This is where I started the regular season. Yeah. So it's only appropriate to start the postseason here. And you best believe it's just the start. We're going to Buffalo. Buffalo, where they're trying to delay us. Yes. But they're only delaying the inevitable. Yeah. They're going down. Yeah. They're our first step yeah. to the road to the Super Bowl. First step on the road to the Super Bowl. Hell is yeah. Buffalo. I told you we're going, Pittsburgh. You got to believe. No fair weather it is. Going to the Super Bowl. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. Steelers. Okay. All right. I love that you can just hear his voice echoing outside of Acrisure <laughs> Stadium. The just whipping. It is. All you can just hear is wind on the microphone <laughs> and on the phone. Yeah. Uh, Nate the Crazy Italian Guy braving the elements to get everybody ready for Steelers Bills which will be 4.30 uh, later this afternoon. We have another round of Steelers Bills Facebook comments after they decided over the weekend to move the game. We'll get to that around 9.10. It's Mikey and Bob. 96 Ron Kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. It's like a Vegas show, but not really, right? Weird Vegas, yeah. <laughs> Not like Vegas at all, actually. Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. From the Levin Furniture and Mattress Weather Center. Mikey and Bob, it is the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. If the Steelers can pull off the upset, Man, like the Green Bay Packers did in Dallas. That is hilarious, right, man? Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, Packers upset the Cowboys 48-32. to It really wasn't that close. That's hilarious. That is the first time a seven seed beat a two seed. So we thought, like, oh, man, the Steelers could be the first ever seven seed 
to beat a two seed. Packers already kicked that door down. Yeah, Packers, Packers did it yesterday. So uh, Packers move on. It was great to see the Detroit Lions beat the L.A. Rams, getting their first playoff win in a while. So they're kind of a fun team that's uh, still alive, too. But it's all about them Stullers. If the Steelers can pull off the upset against the Bills, they will travel to Baltimore to play the top-seeded Baltimore Ravens. By the way, if you're a Steeler fan, you know we can beat Baltimore. Uh, by the way, if you're a Baltimore fan, you don't want us uh, Steelers coming to town. <laughs> Especially with a hot like, Rudolph. Oh, oh, man. For real. <laughs> you don't want it? You they don't, don't want, want that? that? They don't want it? They don't want that. I don't feel like I, – see, I, I feel like from watching the NFL games this, this weekend, man, you get these teams like the Packers and even the Steelers, hopefully they can do what the Packers did. They're just sort of playing with house money. Like if the Steelers lose to the Bills, I'll be like, yeah, that's cool. That's pretty pretty awesome season, though. Like, they made it to the playoffs. I thought they were going to be, like, 7-10. and 10. I thought this was going to be the year that they had a losing mm-hmm. record. And here they are uh, into the uh, playoffs. Now, we need to go back to WTA because they did a great job of going down to the strip district <laughs> to talk to Steeler fans about the game being moved. Sunday, we ready. We tailgate in. So now I got to tailgate for how many days in a row? All right, wait, hold on. One second. <laughs> hold on one second. By the way, this is uh, Yasmin Rodriguez yeah, that did yeah. this report for WTA. Sunday, we ready. We tailgate in. So now I got to tailgate for how many days in a row? Okay, no, you can stop tailgating. Uh-uh. Let, her to- Let her go. Let her go. It sounds like she's already started. It's, does she realize she can stop tailgating until the game today? No. Sunday, we ready. We tailgating. <laughs> so now I got to tailgate for how many days in a row? Like, did, did she just tell, did she, did uh, Yasmin Rodriguez tell this <laughs> woman, like, hey, you know they moved the game, right? She was already tailgating. Like, Sunday, we ready. We tailgating. So now I got to tailgate for how many days in a row? Head to toe in Steeler gear, too. Yeah. Like, she is in it. So she's she, already in it. <laughs> now I got to tailgate how for many days? how many days? Days in a row, you know what's it going to do for me? Well, I'll be there Monday. We'll be ready. Game time, game one. We doing it wherever, whenever it's going down. Yo, this lady, man, this lady. Wow, <laughs> this lady has been tailgating for <laughs> it seems like 48 hours. What now. a breakdown! She is ready to go. One Steelers fan <laughs> even getting ready to brace the Buffalo cold for the game, saying the weather nor the warnings were going to stop him. All right, so this is talking to a Steeler fan who is going to the game in Buffalo and does not care about any of the warnings that were put out, does not want to listen to their governor or whatever. He doesn't care. Taking our tr- truck up four-wheel drive, we'll be fine. Dude, it's so Pittsburgh, man. It's a, taking our four-wheel truck up drive. four-wheel drive. We'll be, f- <laughs> we'll be <laughs> fine. Is, this man is... Is the king of Western Pennsylvania. <laughs> Taking our tr- truck up four wheel drive, we'll be fine. Taking our truck up four wheel drive, we'll be fine. <laughs> the governor telling us to stay home makes me want to go more. So okay, man, just hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> governor don't know I got four wheel uh-huh. drive. I love his like. Tell me stay home. I'm governor, going, I want to go more. Tell me stay home. I live in New York. I live in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Makes me want to go more. <laughs> this dude really just said I have four wheel drive. Governor of New York can't tell me nothing. Taking our tr- truck up four wheel drive will be fine. <laughs> governor telling us stay home makes me want to go more. So. The governor telling me stay home makes me want to go more. We got four wheel drive. Four wheel drive. Uh-oh. Fans telling Pittsburgh's Action News four they <laughs> were a little disappointed the game was moved, but safety first. All right. So now we're going to get to a level-headed person who is just like, ah, yeah, I don't want to die going to a Steeler game. So it's always best to think safety first, especially when it comes to Steeler fans. Yeah, it sounds like a guy who ain't got four-wheel drive right there. <laughs> sounds like a guy who ain't got four-wheel drive. We want to see him play, but we don't want to see anybody injured. We don't want to see anybody <laughs> yeah. on their way up to Buffalo, have a car accident. So I'm okay with it. Oh, yeah, you're okay. Uh, two-wheel, two-wheel drive. drive. Yeah. Two-wheel drive. That sounds like a guy who ain't got four-wheel drive. Sorry, but it, but Taking our tr- truck up four wheel drive, we'll be fine. Four wheel drive, we'll be fine. The governor telling us to stay home <laughs> makes me want to go more. So, all okay. right. Uh, by the way, speaking of the uh, <laughs> governor of New York, here she was on the playing conditions for today and why they're not going to move the game anymore. Uh, the game will not be pushed back again. I've spoken to uh, the commissioner of the NFL, I've spoken to uh, the owner of the Buffalo Bills again about their preparations. It'll be safe for people to drive there. And again, we have up until you know, the fans start coming in the stadium later in the afternoon. If it was a morning game, it'd be a little tougher. But a 4.30 game gives us that time. Again, 
the weather is not going to be perfect. It will not be a sunny, warm day with no snow, but it's nothing we can't deal with. Yeah, so again, the conditions aren't going to be great today. It's not like it's a heat wave or anything like that, but... It's not the snowy conditions that it was over the weekend. And listen, four-wheel drive. I'll get there in four-wheel drive. <laughs> Taking our tr truck up, four-wheel drive. We'll be fine. <laughs> Taking our truck up, four-wheel drive. We'll be fine. <laughs> Man, Steeler fans are just uh -huh. a different breed. We uh, still have a round of Steelers Facebook comments about the game being moved to today. We will read another round of those coming up around 9, 10. It's Mikey Buff, Kiss Morning Freak Show. Got the beat to make your booty go... Mikey and Bob, it's the 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. You can get in touch with the show anytime through our free iHeartRadio app. Just hit the talk back microphone when you're streaming 96.1 Kiss or our Mikey and Bob podcast. Uh, somebody sent us a message while they were uh, watching the Lions-Rams game Sunday night football last night. Michael Bobble. Okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Bobley? Did she just call us a combined nickname of Michael Bobley instead of Michael it's... Buble? That's, that's a good nickname right there. Michael Bobley? <laughs> Michael Bobley. Good. I'm watching this football game, and it's yeah. remarkable how well these Lions are beating Goff. I mean, they're just no. beating Goff, no. like, every which way. No. But still... Goes to Lurs. No, okay. You have it. You screwed the whole thing up. Jared Goff is the quarterback for the Lions. <laughs> they were not beating the Rams. Were beating Goff because Goff is the quarterback for the Lions now, not the Rams. Because there was that whole Matt Stafford trade and he tried. I know he tried. I know what she was doing. I appreciate it, Michael Bobble. Though Michael Bobble, solid, solid. solid nickname. All right, let's get to uh, this message here. Here we go. Uh -oh. Steelers. Yep. Here we go. Come on. Pittsburgh's going to win the f***ing Super Bowl. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's go, Mason. Mason. We're going to win that mother f***ing Super Bowl. Okay. Okay. We're in yep. seventh seed. Yeah, seventh seed, seventh ring, seventh, ring. seventh way to heaven. Uh -huh. Let's f Oh. All right, just swear it away. You know what? Let's. I <laughs> I feel it, man. Yeah. Here we go. I feel like the city needs it. Listen. Here we go. We got you ready on Friday. We'll get you ready on Monday. Here we go. Steelers. Here we go. This first go to the mother bleeping city. Here we go. <laughs> the Steelers. Crack of gold. Here we go. I'm a Pittsburgh's heart and soul. Here we go. The Steeler Nation has the best fans. We are from Pittsburgh, a six-time Super Bowl champ. Here we go. To be young. It's the 96-1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. Uh, Mikey and Bob, we were just playing, again, the Roger Wood, here we go, updated version. Get everybody ready for Steelers at Bill Super Wild Card Weekend. I like this because it actually is extending our Steelers content, Bob. It is. Because today was supposed to be the either read the final Steelers Facebook comments or read Steelers Facebook comments because we're going to Baltimore. But here we are once again getting ready for a Steeler game, having to play the Here We Go song to get everybody ready for it. Let's get to this message. Mikey and Bob, I appreciate all the hype song and getting us ready for a Steelers playoff game. Yep. I also stop what I'm doing whenever I hear Pittsburgh is going to the Super Bowl, come over the airwaves. Yeah. Um, I just started running around the house beating my chest like King Kong. Pittsburgh's going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> just beat my chest because I'm all fired up, baby. Let's go. I'm so glad he said he was beating his chest. <laughs> like, I got nervous there for a minute. I got real nervous there. It's running around the house. Could have went... It's a, a totally different direction. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let's get to uh, this message here. Hey, guys. This is Brittany down in Florida. I was catching up on the podcast, and my 16-month-old daughter was in the backseat. And every time that Bob would laugh, she would also laugh. And so I just think that that's further proof that Bob's laugh truly is angelic and can make even the worst day. Yeah. A good day. Wow. So she's got her 16-month-old daughter, Bob, right? Yeah, yeah. Listening to the show, listening to the podcast down in Florida. Uh -huh. And every time that you laugh, the 16-month-old is in the back seat laughing, special. too. Special. Uh, she's right. Your laugh has, uh, it has special power. So if anybody's having a bad day, if you're just sick of the cold, you're sick of this weather, you had a bad weekend, 
Here is one minute of some of the best laughs that Bob has ever done on the show. <laughs> All right. Reggie the Clown? <laughs> Six one kiss morning freak show. Uh, it is not going to be a warm week at all. It is going to be highs in the twenties all week. The high today just near twenty degrees. Might see some scattered snow coming uh, tonight. Nothing major, but all week highs in the twenties. We don't see a high of thirty degrees until Monday. Like so, the next week is just going to be uh, in the twenties. Mm. Bob, when we came in this morning, we had a message from somebody who, you know, we always encourage if you're uh, hanging out over the weekend, getting into um, adult things, having parties, doing some drinking or mm -hmm. whatever you're into, leave us a message. And that is exactly what this person did. Mike and Bob, you guys have always said you like the drunk messages. Yep. And I'm here trying the iHeartRadio app and Spotify. As you guys said, you like that better. Yeah, we do appreciate you listening on the iHeartRadio app instead of Spotify. That's how you send messages, yeah. yeah. That's how you get messages to us, yeah. Doing my best. Yep. I'm being a good boy. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> All right, wait. <laughs> it was fine until Doing he said best. he was being a good boy. Being a good boy. All right, he was pretty good with the drunk message there <laughs> until the end when he was like, doing my best. Being a good boy. <laughs> Doing my best. Yep. I'm being a good boy. Yep. Love you guys. All right. You know what? He could have been sober until the <laughs> I'm being good boy part. Good boy. That's enough. All right. Yeah. He's been doing some drinking. <laughs> I'm being a good boy. Being a good boy. Love you guys. All right. Uh, by the way, um, the here we go lady is uh, is back. Uh, earlier in the show, we got this, right? Here we go. Yeah. Steelers. Here we go. Yeah. Pittsburgh's going to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, she was going in a little bit earlier. She is back now. Minka Mikey, that is Bob. I am so high yeah. on the f Steelers. Oh, no, Steelers. And Minka Mikey, that is Bob. So high on them Steelers. Steelers. Hey, yeah. Playoffs right now. Yeah. The Bills are offering $20 yeah. to shovel the f field right now and i'm about to do it just so mason no. can throw that <laughs> game winning touchdown let's <laughs> go it's too late too late man <laughs> it's like you're not going to shovel that field <laughs> no, you're not leaving man. your house no nobody's going to shovel that <laughs> it'll be fine everything let's let the bills fans take care of that but man She is hype right there. Uh -huh. She is hype on another level right there. Uh, for today. Uh, I know some people were disappointed that the game moved to this afternoon because of the weather conditions. And, you know, it wasn't, uh, oh, let's play football in this. It's, do you want 70,000 people trying to drive in whiteout conditions in Buffalo when you can just delay it like a couple days and, or a day and you, you'll have better conditions? Pretty safe, yeah, safer. Uh, but. We will have another round of Steelers Facebook comments because the Facebook comments after they announced the game change, uh, they were exactly what you would expect. We'll get to those around 9, 10. It's Mikey and Bob. 96 one kiss. The Mikey and Bob podcast. Mikey and Bob, it is the 96 one kiss morning freak show. Coming up in about 10 minutes on the show, we are going to read Steelers Facebook comments as, of course, the game got moved from this weekend to this afternoon around 4.30 because of the weather. We will read a round of Steelers Facebook comments about that uh, coming up next here on the Kiss Morning Freak Show. 
just about any time we get a message uh, from some of Yins today, it sounds something like this. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is uh, every time that we get a message from somebody. But hold on one second, because our guy John has something for us. Hey, what's up, Mikey and Bob? It's Schubert. It's John here. I have some content for your show that mm. I think could possibly help you. Anything Steelers related that you might have from Monday morning. Okay. You know how people uh, make their uh, make these like custom candles. And it's like yeah. you know, this this smells like this, even though it smells nothing like it. Yeah, people. I, candle making is weird right now because like you can get like a, a you know you can get a candle that smells like. You know, a Steeler playoff game, and it just like smells like grass or something like right, that. You know right, what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. people, are, people are kind of wild with some candle making now. So I have a question: If there were a candle that said this candle smells like Mikey and Bob, mm. what would that candle smell like? You're welcome. Okay, so like uh, me and Bob combined scent. Like if me and Bob mm. had to put on the market mm -hmm. a candle that's just like it smells like us mm. or something that relates to us. Um, I don't know, Bob. What do you, what do you have our candle smelling as? I think we'll both we'll both do this. Sweaty nuts and hot sauce. <laughs> okay, I got weed and donuts. I'd buy, I'd buy both of those. Actually, I wouldn't buy your candle. <laughs> Wait, am I hot sauce? Because I like hot sauce Don't on just about, about everything. It. Okay. Are you... <laughs> we'll read some Steelers Facebook comments coming up next year on the Kiss Morning Free Show. It's Mike Kim Bob. Taylor Swift was swag surfing with Donna Kelsey in the freezing cold uh, game at Arrowhead. Over the weekend on Saturday, the Chiefs beat the uh, Dolphins. You also had the Texans beat in the Bronze. And then yesterday, the Packers, the seventh seed over the two seed Cowboys, big upset there. And then the Lions getting their first playoff win in a long time, 24 23 over the Rams. You got Steelers, Bills uh, today in Buffalo, 4 30. Oh my goodness, you all right? And then tonight, uh, 8 o'clock, you got Eagles uh, down in uh, in Tampa. If the Steelers do beat the Bills, they will uh, travel to Baltimore yes. for the uh, for the next round of the playoffs. But uh, with the weather over the weekend, with the treacherous conditions and the you know public safety concern, they had to move the game from Sunday at 1 p.m. to Monday at 4.30, right? Mm -hmm. And then we read mm -hmm. the Facebook comments. Yeah, here we go. We oh, yeah. to a very deep, dark place on the internet. Yep. Everyone is a GM. Oh, yeah. Everyone yep. is a coach. Everyone Everyone's is going to get traded. Everything, Everything sucks. sucks. It's time for Steelers Facebook comments. Uh, let's get some more Steelers Facebook comments here after they have to move the uh, wild card game because of weather in Buffalo. Carla S. A few times in the 70s, the governor of Pennsylvania closed schools in the streets and the offices and even told us to not let our pets outside. But dang it, we had Steeler football and we won Super Bowls. Hold on. Okay. Chuck Noll would be rolling over in his grave. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, Rolly Noll? Oh, no. Chuck Noll's not rolling over in his grave. He's not. Brian C., I hope Najee Harris and Jalen Warren take this snow postponement personally. That's right. I love <laughs> the personal I, now. I love, too, the, hey, we were going to run the ball on their ass in the snow, and now they're making the conditions better for them, right? Chris L., corruption in sports. Vegas felt completely vulnerable with their spread in a snowstorm. What? So what do you do? You call the governor to force the game out to more favorable <laughs> conditions. Turn the snow off. Wait a minute. Vegas called the governor yeah. of New York? Yeah, Mike. And by the way, who makes it, it, that it, call in Vegas? Listen, it's said in the Facebook comments. It must be true. It's got to be Adele, right? Is it Adele or Celine Dion? Who's making the call from Vegas? Is it Adele? I think it's Adele. Hello. Yeah. Lauren A. They had the pep rally downtown for nothing. Oh, no. That's right. Wait, wasted it all. You got to run it back. Wasted a pep rally. Get Steely McBean back out. Get Mayor Ganey out there. Who else is out there? Tony from Permani Brothers. Tony. Yeah, get Tony Sarah back in on. Amarado. Get the uh, Allegheny County Executive. Everybody back out. Get that. No, it's not happening today. No, uh -uh. Everybody off work for MLK Day. All right. Joel D. The NFL is just like the WWE. 
it's like pro wrestling. Can't write a script for a snowstorm in Vegas. Can't control the money if the weather's out of control. Steelers, we're going to win if we play Sunday. Now the Bills are going to cover. Wait, so so many people think this is fixed somehow? Yeah. This is all part of the plan? Yeah, it's Adele, oh, okay. Adele right. and Celine Dion in Vegas yeah. doing it. Yeah. Graham Allen, the Steelers' Facebook comments. The people that are mad about the postponement of the game are the same people who are like, back in my day, we walked to school in 10 feet of snow both ways uphill, and they get that story cut down to finally rational thought, never giving a thought to the roads being impassable and emergency services being needed elsewhere. But no, let's put a strain on the area's resources so we can be entertained with football. That one actually made a lot of sense. We don't like making sense in the Facebook comments, though. We don't like to hear about the voice of reason there. Emergency services. Yeah, it all makes sense. Oh, you, right? want, you want the voice of reason here? Oh, one more. Yeah. All right. One Adam more. V. Well, kiss that miracle playoff run goodbye. Oh, oh damn. damn. There it goes. That's they it. Lost. They That's lost. Oh, it. no. Move the game to Monday oh. just, so, just so Vegas could get their betting money. Oh, no. And the Bills could advance. They're gone. And I'm gonna miss Steeler football. And I'm gonna miss Steeler football. 961. Mikey and Bob, it's the 961 Kiss Morning Free Show. Of course, we always tell you you can stream the show live from 6 to 10 a.m. Uh, through the iHeartRadio app. Yep. When you're uh, streaming 96 One Kids, it's completely free to download and, uh, you know, stream the station. But then we also have our Mikey and Bob podcast. If you miss any of the show, you can get that on the free iHeartRadio app or wherever you're streaming your podcast. Let's get to a message from California here. What's up, Mikey and Big Bob? My name's Michelle. I'm 30 years old. Um, I've been listening to you guys since I was like 12 or 13 years old in middle school. Hell yeah. I remember getting ready in the morning and <laughs> listening to you guys. Uh-huh. Um, I live in California now, so I don't get to listen live as much. So I just want to say I love the YouTube. I comment on almost every one of your videos. Yeah. Um, love you guys. Go Steelers. All right. Okay. Keep All right. touch with the show through our Mikey and Bob uh, YouTube channel, like which it. you can, uh, yeah, it's easy to find us on there and subscribe to us. And uh, a lot of people like to, our, our most popular thing we do, I don't know if this is the most popular thing on the show, but it definitely is on our YouTube channel, is uh, Facebook comments. That's it. Whenever we do Facebook comments, those are the videos that get the most views. So we will do Steelers Facebook comments, whether they win or lose, uh, tomorrow on the show. Uh, Bob, let's get the fancy voice, man. Not really sure where this guy came from, but he's been leaving us messages, and he just he has got a fancy voice, and he leaves us messages about the Steelers, so let's hear him. Mikey and Bob, with the Steelers game being postponed till today, the anticipation grows. Yeah. With each game being a little bit more important than the last, yeah. it's time for Pittsburgh to show their true colors. Yeah. No more Mr. Nice Guys. Oh, no more Mr. Nice Guys. Oh, no more Mr. Nice Guys. Yes. Going into a playoff game with a hot Rudolph. Yeah, hot, hot Rudolph hot. going into Buffalo. Melt that snow. Wait till wait till that hot Rudolph gets near that snow. It's going to melt. Ought to make Buffalo a little nervous. Yeah. Let's go Steelers. Yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go Steelers. I'm surprised they didn't just have Mason Rudolph walk around like the field and the stands and everything. Just have him do laps. Watch everything melt like he has some sort of superpowers or something. Whip out the hot Rudolph. You don't need to pay people $20 to come shovel in Buffalo. Just let the hot Rudolph go out there and warm up. Let him melt all the damn snow. <laughs> uh, so Steelers, of course, will be in Buffalo. Uh, kick off around 4.30 if you're not near a TV or if you got, like, weird work schedule today with MLK Day and you're you're only near a radio, uh, you can hear the game, uh, of course, uh, on 102.5 DVE, your radio home of the Steelers. And, of course, tomorrow on the show, whether they win or lose, we will read Steelers' Facebook comments. Pay your bills on 96.1 KISS. Mikey and Bob, it's the 96 One Kiss Morning Freak Show. Cold out. Highs near 20 degrees today, and it's actually going to be highs in the 20s all week. It is not going to hit a high of 30 degrees until probably a week from now. We Next just, Monday. We've reached that time of year. And we might get some snow tonight, eh. maybe one to two inches accumulating. Nothing eh. too, too major, but, you know, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, in the 20s and just freezing freezing cold uh out there this week all right uh let's get to this message good morning mikey and bob it's your girl sarah <laughs> the one with the goat all right sarah the one with the goat <laughs> um i have a question i've been curious about this 
does Nate the Crazy Italian Guy have a Mrs. Nate the Crazy Italian Guy? Oh, boy. Like, um, does he have a wife, and is she also as enthusiastic about the Steelers as he is? Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Bye. Uh, no, for anybody that is wondering, uh, Nate the Crazy Italian Guy is a is a single man, just a very nice man. Uh, he takes care of his parents. Mm -hmm. He's a nice dude. Uh, we were uh, talking about Nate the Crazy Italian Guy, who, again, has been part of our show for a few years now, and we've just become, like, good friends with him now, you know? Yep. Uh, so he, uh, every week, has been posting videos of something to get the city hype about the Steelers. He's been in different locations. He's just yelling and screaming about the Steelers. Uh, I remember he was in a porta potty for one, I think, <laughs> for when they went to Cleveland. Uh, but here's crazy Italian guy over the weekend outside Akershire Stadium, just yelling, getting us ready for Steelers Bills. Crazy Italian guy back in front of Akershire Stadium. This is where I started the regular season. Yeah. So it's only appropriate to start the postseason here. And you best believe it's just the start. Yes. We're going to Buffalo. Yes. Where they're trying to delay us. Yes. But they're only delaying the inevitable. You can't delay it anymore, Buffalo. We're coming. They're going down. They're going down. They're going down. They're going down. Our first step to the road to the Super Bowl. I told you we're going, Pittsburgh. You got to believe. No fair weather it is. Yeah. Going to the Super Bowl. Let's go. Steelers. Man, that dude can just get me excited about the Steelers. Listen, ready to go. When the Steelers lost those back-to-back -back games to those awful two-win teams, remember when we lose like the Cardinals and stuff and everybody was just like, Nate, the crazy Italian guy, was still no fair weatherness. Like, he just Always doesn't is. talk it. He lives it. He's mm -hmm. like, nah, dude, we're going to win out. Over. We're going to get in the playoff stairway to seven. Like, even if the Steelers somehow lose to the Bills, no, this guy will still believe somehow we're going to get in there and get number seven. He's the best. You can follow him on Instagram, at Nate the Crazy Italian Guy, because if the Steelers win, I cannot oh, wait man. to see the video Unhinged. that this guy posts. 96.1 Kiss. The Mikey and Bob Podcast. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah, good to go. Uh, Steelers, of course, go to... No, I'm not. No, I'm not okay. <laughs> Stream the Mikey and Bob podcast on iHeartRadio or wherever you get your podcasts. It is Mikey. It is Bob. The 96.1 Kiss Morning Freak Show. What a, what a surprise Monday of Pittsburgh sports we have here. Like, really, think about what it should have been. Should have just been an evening Penguins game as we all dealt with the results of the Steelers-Bills game. But instead, the Penguins moved their game up to uh, to 1 p.m. Yep. To sort of counter-program against the Steelers playoff game, which, you know, a little back-to-back. -back. Yeah, the city's going to be all about. So, uh, yeah, the Penguins will... Uh, We'll have their game at 1 p.m. against the Seattle Kraken today, which means we got to get out of here, Bob, because the Pens actually, uh, they broadcast out of the studio that we're in, too. I think it's the only people in the building that actually use our studio, too. So awesome. let's Pens. go, Pens. Yes, we got to get out of here. Uh, fans can enter the game starting at 1130. So obviously that is, uh, that is a cool thing that they actually move the game to accommodate some fans. Some people working downtown are having to work. The Pens game might not be that happy about it, but uh, Steelers, of course, in Buffalo. Uh, that is at 4.30. If the Steelers beat the Bills, they will then go on to play Baltimore at Baltimore in the next round. Earlier, we were playing uh, this clip from WTAE with Emily Jean Greco, who's been in Buffalo for a few days now, talking to Steeler fans. Steelers fans were coming to Buffalo snow or shine to watch their team play in Wild Card Weekend. But what were their thoughts when they heard the game was moved? I think it's wrong. Yeah. Play the game. I mean, these are two, you know, cold weather teams. We've done it before. We're in Buffalo. Yeah. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the surface of the moon. Who cares? Let's play. This guy does not care. Surface of the moon. So <laughs> Emily Jean Greco from WTAE talked to him before the weather was really coming, you know, when it was just cold and windy. And then somehow 